On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we finish the Saturn Ion Red Line. What is going on guys? I'm Watch JR going today. I'm here with Gabe. We've got the minivan because you know we're rolling deep and we're here with a Cobalt SS Supercharged. So the deal is this is a friend of mine's car and he is heading out right now to open the hood for us so we can figure out where the vacuum lines uh, actually route. Uh, I do know where one of them routes now and where that map sensor vacuum line goes to. So we're gonna uh, get the hood open on this and figure out what we're doing. Then we're gonna head back over to the Saturn Ion and uh, just finish everything up. Shouldn't take long. And we're gonna get food first. Food, it's so, so beyond time for food. It is currently 3.30 and we started working at like 11. So we're hungry. The parking lot we're in here, uh, turns out it's Textron Aviation Defense. So this is where they put lasers in the front of your plane. Lasers. Lasers. All right, cobalt time. So, huh, it really is. It that doesn't one, do anything. Yeah, so, that one stays open. Yeah, that one stays open. It's super it weird. The wrong one. Well, ours is, has nothing hooked up, right? So we need to go get this hose, and then where's that map sensor go right here? Right there. Right there. Oh, what on earth? So it's on the underside. This isn't hooked up to anything. Yeah. Does his boost gauge work? Mm -hmm. This doesn't make any sense. Well, John, you've answered all of our questions, <laughs> and we're, we just have more questions here. Yeah, I don't think we. This didn't help at all. John, you've only created more questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've had to replace this once. Yeah. So I guess we'll go buy some hose. Yeah, I was surprised. I googled that one till no end because I thought that was weird. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Take it easy. Thanks for taking time to uh, meet us in the parking lot, real quick. <laughs> and we are back with the eye on. Today, we bleed the clutch. I decided to skip straight to the fun part. I'm just gonna air up the tires. Yeah. So we do have this one hose that came off the old engine and we're gonna cut this up and use it for the bypass hose and also use it for that little one foot hose that runs off the map sensor there. So we just need some wire cutters or something. Oh man, wrecked. Get that guy on there like that. Oh yeah. And then uh, kind of route that nicely there. And on the other one, it looped back about three inches, maybe. So right about there is where we need to cut it. Actually, we could cut it right at that ugly mark. Yeah. And that'll be perfect. The sharpest of knives. Oh, that's beautiful. This comes from touching that old hose for like three seconds. On to the clutch. We're gonna fill the reservoir all the way to the top. I don't know what just happened. I'm not sure either. <laughs> all right, you're about full. Gabe needs to go to the John Ross School of Pouring Without a Funnel. So we're gonna go ahead and try the easy method of bleeding the clutch according to the Saturn Ion Redline forums. You basically just lightly tap the clutch is what they said. I don't think you could even pump it. I think, yeah, just like that, exactly. And they said do that for like 30 minutes until the pedal feel comes back. What you got going on there? Well, we are pulling this nasty, nasty old water-filled clutch fluid out of this thing. That is some... Yeah, it's black. I've got the thing wide open and can't get anything out of it. Yep. We might have to do the tap method on this guy. We needed a power bleeder, but we just don't have one. It looks like the clip uh, that holds the clutch line into the slave cylinder is missing. And of course it's nowhere to be found. So we went and bought this giant uh, extraction and fill syringe, which is super nice. We're gonna suck this bad boy full of brake fluid and then find out that we don't have any brake fluid. <laughs> Luckily we have a whole nother bottle. That did not work well. There we go. Now we're sucking a nice strong brake fluid pull out of here. Okay. Here's our brake fluid. All ready to go. And we're gonna try to hook this up, open the valve, and push it back through in reverse. So, this is really tricky. This thing has a lot of weight to it. Oh no, oh no. Okay, here we go. Hold it down. It's down. Never mind. 
the whole thing came apart. Gabe and I bled the impossible clutch. I read tons of threads about this on the uh, Ion Redline forums, and they had so many different ideas from tapping the pedal lightly for like 30 minutes or waiting 30, 45 minutes between bleeds and stuff like that for air to rise to the surface. The reason it's a nightmare is because this reservoir feeds the master, the clutch master, which is down there. So there's a line that runs all the way down there, and then that line runs all the way down here. And uh, there's not like nice places to bleed it or anything, and it's kind of complicated. So what we did was we took this syringe thing that I just picked up. This big boy right here, this is insane. This is like a commercial syringe, not like a, a normal uh, light duty one. Hey, it's, that's my back, baby. <laughs> it's got double O-rings and all kinds of crazy stuff. We took the Mighty Vac adapter on the end of it, and then I pushed it on there and I held it on underneath the uh, oil cooler. And then I would crack the bleeder valve open and I only had like two hands. So I used my chest to push on the syringe while my other hand pushed it onto the bleeder and my other hand held the bleeder valve open. And then Gabe would try to pump it and we ran through that a couple times and eventually we got it done. Also, the, of course, the C-clip for the clutch line was gone. So the first couple times we got pressure, it exploded back off when we tested it. So now we have a clip that's not exactly the right wire clip, but it's one that works. And we're gonna go with that. We're gonna uh, maybe run safety wire around it so it's secure. Yep. We gotta do something to make sure that clip doesn't ever back off. But uh, yeah, that's the best way to bleed the impossible clutch. The tapping did nothing. No. Traditional bleeding did nothing. We no. tried and tried and tried. What? We ran so much fluid through this thing. At least it's all clean. It is brand new fluid. Super clean. I, love it. I mean, we went through like quarts of fluid. And I almost grabbed my Motul that's like $25 for that much, you know. And oh man, we would have just wasted like $100 in fluid. I'm so glad we went and bought super cheap fluid and just dumped it in in mass. We got it done. Yep. Yeah, all right. Now we're throwing everything back together. Putting everything <laughs> back together. Uh, we had to pull the intake off to get to all this nonsense. So uh, we're gonna get the safety wire in there, button it back up, time for a drive. Are we ready to see if the car can move under its own power? I know I am. Okay. First of all, all these headlight zip ties that don't make any sense. I don't think those are even connected to anything. Well, here we are. What is on the tire? Do you hear that? It's probably the turpin <laughs> flat, man. <laughs> it's been sitting for a minute. So you know? we got the tires fully aired up and they're making a lot of noise. And we have a boost gauge. Oh, no, wait. No boost gauge. No, it's not gonna boost in neutral. It shouldn't, yeah. yeah. I don't know what's on that front tire, but it sure makes a lot of noise. Uh, and we're trying to get the brakes clean. Crunchy. Crunchy. Mm, you can mm, smell them. Smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> I barely touched them. You can smell the brakes. Oh, they said my lights aren't on? No, lights his lights on. weren't on. All right, all right, okay. I thought they were flashing me that it was mine. No, no, he was driving around with that. The boost! No boost gauge, but you can sure tell it's there. Yep. It lives. It lives. Oh! <laughs> Uh, delete that. Could use some shocks. There are no shocks in this. Where's that car wash at? Oh, right there. There's the car wash I want. Going to the car wash. The brakes are actually cleaning up. Yeah. That's not bad. Nasty. We need to hit the windshield wipers again. Is that that bicycle? It's a bicycle, <laughs> man. The Saturn Ion lives again. And we've got it all stuff free and washed up for it. No matter how much we wash this, dirt just keeps coming out. It needs like a hand wash with a wash bed or something. That's as good as we can get it. And we are back with a much cleaner Saturn Ion for Paul. <laughs> Scrape City. <laughs> All right, Paul, you ready to drive it? Yeah. Oh, you said you don't want to drive it at night though. Yeah. I get that. It's a bit perception. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, lights work and everything, runs and drives, it's clean. So thanks, dude. Yeah, we thanks. had fun, we had fun working on it. And thanks, uh, appreciate it, man. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. And please like, <laughs> that doesn't work. Pick number three, my yeah. lord. <laughs>